Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be going over how to avoid the gray cast underneath the eyes when concealing your dark circles. I know that I've answered this in past videos, but just kind of like here and there, I've never made a video dedicated to this topic. And since I get asked this question pretty regularly, I figured, I need to have a video with this particular topic, like centered around this. Let's go over some of the do's and don'ts in order to take care of the grayness underneath the eyes. The first thing that you're gonna want to do to avoid the grayness is color correct. Color correcting is essential when it comes to completely concealing the darkness and in order to avoid the grayness. I personally, you guys know this, or maybe you don't, this is my favorite color corrector. This is the Becca under eye brightening corrector. I personally like to use correctors that are going to neutralize the darkness underneath the eyes and not necessarily just change the shade underneath my eyes completely. So for example, this will help neutralize the darkness since it is closest to my complexion, but this probably won't. This is just going to add a really like very obvious like orange color underneath the eyes, which yeah, it'll cancel out, but it's just going to take more concealer to cover the orange, you know? So that's why I like to avoid correctors like these, correctors like these that are just like not for my complexion. Something like this, I would say is definitely for someone with a like tan to deep, like more on the deep side. This definitely more on the tan side for someone like me who's kind of in the middle peach, salmon, something like that, perfectly fine. So over here, I'm gonna do the things that I normally would do in order to avoid the grayness and completely conceal the under eye area. Over here, I'm gonna do things the way that I used to do them, and you'll see the difference by the end. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of my color corrector. Again, I'm just using my Becca under eye brightening. And that right there, you see that, is going to cancel out the darkness neutralize it and get it ready for concealer application. There it is already so much better, right? The next thing that I do is I apply foundation. I'm going to avoid the under eye area. Let me just apply this really fast and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with foundation. Now let's move on to the next step, which I feel like this is the most important in order to avoid the under eye grayness. And that is, your shade, your concealer shade. It matters, it really truly matters. I accidentally ordered this shade, which is 25H. This is light medium honey. I don't use light medium honey. I usually use medium honey, which is 35H. It's just closer to my complexion than this. So it's not only going to conceal better, but it's going to help us avoid the grayness underneath the eyes. So just taking some of my 35H, which is the shade that's closer to my complexion. And I'm gonna blend it out using this nice little dense brush. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques, which I love for the under eye area. All right, so you see that? Completely concealed, it doesn't look gray at all. Now let's move on to the side that I didn't color correct, and I'm about to use the wrong shade for my complexion. So this, like I said, is 27H, which is light medium honey. Just gonna apply similar amount. As you can see, just it's way too light for me. Clean off my deluxe crease brush here. I should have like 50 of these. All right, and so we're gonna blend this out and see what we get. All right, so let's set this concealer. So there you have it. The under eye area is done and you can clearly see the gray cast over here, whereas you cannot see anything over here at all. So now let me zoom you guys in so that you can get a better look underneath the eyes and you can better compare it like up close, this versus this. All right, so this is what it looks like up close. As you can see, very obvious grayness under here whereas there is no grayness over here. All right, so there you have it. That is how I avoid a gray under eye area. In case you're wondering, yes, I took it off. I redid it with the right concealer and look at that. It's just so, 
so simple but yet makes such a difference anyway thank you all so much for watching i truly hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos and also don't forget to follow me over on instagram where i absolutely love to interact with you guys as always take care and i will see you all in my next video Mwah. bye Thank you.